Hello, it is Rachel, and I know that a lot of us are feeling exhausted and depleted right now. When I ask a lot of parents what they need in order to feel less exhausted or depleted, what I hear a lot is, I need my kids to leave me alone in order to feel less exhausted, or I need my kids to fight less and then I'll feel less exhausted, or I need my kids to stop being disrespectful when I ask them to do something and then I'll feel better. It's almost as if we need other people to change in order for us to feel better. And I wanna point out two problems with that. The first is that if we are dependent on other people to change, then we are always on a roller coaster ride depending on what they are doing. So you're gonna feel good when they're doing what you want, then you're gonna feel bad when they're not doing what you want. And you're gonna be up and down based on what they decide to do. And you don't wanna give someone else so much power over your exhaustion, over your moods, over your happiness. The other problem with thinking that we need someone else to change for us to feel better is that you actually can't make someone else change. You can't make someone else leave you alone. You can't make someone else speak more respectfully to you. And when you make that your measure of success, you're always going to feel out of control. You're setting yourself up for failure and you're setting your moods on something that is actually out of your control. So I want to give you two tips for what to do instead of assuming that someone else needs to change. The first tip is instead of saying something like, how do I make my kids do more around the house? How do I get them to speak more nicely to each other? Instead of focusing on making them change or getting them to change, ask yourself, what can I do differently in that situation? If they are arguing, if they're not picking up enough around the house, what can I do differently? You have control over how you respond and here's the truth, that when you change how you respond, the situation changes. When one person changes in a situation, the situation changes. The other tip I have for you is to make your measure of success in a situation, not what your children do or what your spouse does or what your friend does. Make your measure of success that you decided how you wanted to respond and you actually responded that way. Again, this is what's in your control. And if you wanna feel less exhausted and more in control and less stressed, you want to focus on what is in your control. So let me give you examples of what this might look like. Instead of saying, well, when I set a boundary, my child melts down. So how can I get my child to stop melting down? Instead of focusing on getting them to do something, say, how can I respond if my child does melt down? Maybe you wanna say, I will respond by staying in control of my own emotions and not getting sucked into their meltdown. Then your measure of success can be, hey, that happened, my child melted down, but I stayed in control of my own emotions and very likely that situation is gonna go better because you focused on what was in your control, you did what you said you were gonna do, and they are more likely to calm down more easily. Again, instead of saying something like, how do I get my son to be more respectful to me? That is not in your control, so you wanna switch your question to, how can I respond if my son is disrespectful to me? That's what's in your control and ultimately what you can do is model what it looks like to be respectful even when things aren't going your way. And you can make your measure of success. Hey, I was a good role model of what this should look like. That is what's in your control. So if you want even more ideas for how to feel more in control and why you focusing on yourself actually will have an impact on the outcome, I recommend you listen to my latest podcast episode. You can find it on my website, rachel-bailey.com forward slash 62. I'll be back again too with more tips for you. Take care.